Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special Panant webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. We will have a question and answer session at the end, so please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar throughout, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Edie Rodriguez. Edie is American well, brand chairman and special, sorry. <laughs> Edie, ahead, feel free to introduce yourself. No, no, go ahead, Anna. I'm sorry. Continue. Sure. Edie is America's brand chairman and special corporate advisor for Penant, the world's leading luxury yacht expedition cruise line. She has over 30 years of experience in executive roles in the cruise and travel industry and previously served as the CEO and president of Crystal Cruises. Edie is actively involved in the travel industry, is an avid supporter of Tourism Cares, and has been recognized numerous times for her business leadership. She is a strong voice and advocate in the luxury travel space and has harnessed the power of social media and digital platforms to reach a global audience. And with that, take it away, Edie. Well, thank you, Anna, and hello, CLIA Travel Advisors. Thank you all for joining us today. I also have my colleague, Dale Woods, on the line, who is one of our director of sales covering the Northeast. So, Dale, thank you for joining me. And uh, he and I will be happy to entertain any questions anybody may have. And with that, you see the first slide with my name and email. Please feel free to reach out to me as you wish. I'll be happy to help direct you to your right local support wherever you are located geographically. And as we go to the next slide, we want to say thank you for your partnership where you can earn a $200 bonus commission for bookings deposited by December 31st. So I sincerely hope that you will take advantage of that. So as we go to the next slide, what I want to talk to you a little bit about today is Ponal's quintessential collection. And just so you know, these are a series of sailings that we have launched that are specifically for the North American market. They include a pre-hotel uh, experience, transfers, and a myriad of onboard speakers based around the themes. So we'll get into that in a little greater detail. But let's go to the next slide and let me walk you through a little bit of history about Ponal and where we came from and where we are headed. And unfortunately, CLIA doesn't have the capability in these webinars to show you videos, but I really strongly encourage each and every one of you CLIA advisors to please go to our Ponant website, register with us as a travel advisor, and you will have access to all of our collateral, including our fabulous videos, which you can also access on YouTube as well. And I often say, if you email blast these out, these are powerful tools to help you close more Ponant sales and thus earn more commission. But anyway, the Ponal story is a fabulous one. Last month in April was our 31st anniversary. So we are actually a 31 year and one month old brand. And the picture you see on the left is a picture of our founder there in the center, Jean-Emmanuel Souvé. And Jean-Emmanuel was a French merchant seaman who had a vision, who had a dream to launch a yacht expedition line and in a luxury manner. So he got some fellow merchant seamen together and they formed Ponal. And through the years, through the 31 years, Ponal went through different gyrations. And I'm very proud to say that today we are owned by Group Artemis. If you don't know who they are, it's the Pinot family. They own many things in addition to Ponant. They own Chateau Latour. They own Christie's Auction House. And they own Caring, the you know, number one leading luxury good purveyor with brands like Gucci, Balenciaga, Stella McCartney, Yves Saint Laurent. I can go on for days. So it's a long-winded way to say it's a winning combination. I believe the recipe you need is a passionate founder and a very robust financial owner who knows luxury like no other. And that is the combination of Ponant today. And so today, literally as we speak, we are nine ships and we will be going to 12 ships 
come April of 21, including the world's first luxury icebreaker. But let's go to the next slide and let's talk about the awards that we have won and continue to win. And why this slide is important is because it is a very powerful tool to help you and empower you yet again to close more Ponal sales. So, I believe the number one reason people travel, whether it's on a cruise, whether it's on a yacht expedition experience, whether it's on a land-based vacation, is first and foremost for the destination. And if you're doing your job right as a trusted CLIA travel advisor, it should be, in my humble opinion, the first question you ask your potential client that you potentially entrust to become our ponant guest. Where do you want to go? Once you know where they want to go, if you think about Ponant in this context, we literally sail around the world to everywhere, every destination you can get to via ocean water, with the exception of the Galapagos. We even go up the Amazon to Manaus and slightly up the Douro in Portugal. So said another way, if the destination the client is interested in is a destination you can get to via ocean water, with the exception of the Galapagos, and starting in April of 21 with um, even the North Pole. We'll go to the next slide. So as I'm discussing this, you can actually see a visual on that. Then we will have an itinerary. So I'm making it up. Let's say the client was interested in Myanmar or Spain or South America or Antarctica or the North Pole, you can say, well, there are many ways to go to that destination, but let me tell you a little bit about Ponal, the world's leading luxury yacht expedition brand experience that has the sexiest ships at sea, the floating Maserati, Lamborghini, and Ferraris at sea, and the youngest hardware, by the way, in the yacht expedition space. And then they may say, well, I've never heard of that brand. And if that's the case, that's when you utilize all of these awards to tell them how fabulous we are and that it is a brand experience you as our CLIA travel advisor can sell with the utmost confidence. And concurrently, they as a potential new guest to Ponant can feel comfortable. So what I'm saying is use this in your tool shed, use these awards, including, by the way, Travel and Leisure's World Best. It's so important to come in five or less in those awards. I'm very proud to say that we won Travel and Leisure's World's Best third and fourth place for mid-size and small ships. So it's fantastic. So let's go to the next slide and talk about the Ponant difference. And this is sort of a good matrix to help in your mind, be clear on how to sell us. So on the left are what traditional expedition ships are all about, typically 20 to less than 200 guests, but typically it's a very, very old hardware. And then on the right, you see the luxury small ships, where those are bigger ships. 400 to 700 guests. And while some of them are purpose-built, the bottom line is size does matter. And in this case, small is better as long as it's new hardware. And that's what Ponant is, the sweet spot right there in the middle of the slide. We have one vessel, the genesis of our brand, Le Ponant, which is a 64-guest sail ship that does Cuba and the Caribbean in the winter and the Med in the summer. And then all of our other vessels are 264 guests or less. Uh, new purpose-built ships, with the exception of the sail ships, all of them are fully ADA compliant. All of our vessels have naturalists and zodiacs, so you get cultural experts, large public areas, an open bridge policy, luxury accommodations, and we take you to these unique and remote and well-traveled destinations. And that's what makes it so special, because we can get into the heart of the destination, we can get to really remote destinations, and that is, again, what it is all about, the destination. Yes, the Yacht Expedition Onboard 
experience is important, but it's how we deliver the experience ashore to these fabulous places is really what drives it home. So as we go to the next slide, let's talk about traditional yachting versus expedition. And on the left, this is pretty self-explanatory. You see what expeditions include and you see what yachting experiences include. And at Planant, we deliver both. It all depends on the destination. And certainly an example of an expedition experience would be Antarctica. And an, ex an example of yachting would be perhaps the Mediterranean or Cuba, etc. But let's go to the next slide and talk about where luxury meets experiential. And this is really what it's all about. This is what you are selling. These experiential experiences that create memories of a lifetime for your clients that you entrust to become our guests. So it's authentic experiences, it's in-depth exploration, it's access, a sort of a one-of-a-kind experience of backstage pass, as I like to say. I recently hosted my Chairman America's Cruise in April, and one of the things our company, parent company owns is Chateau Latour. That is not open to the public, and yet we were allowed that sort of private tour backstage pass to Chateau Latour just for our guests. It was really an exceptional experience. And as we go to the next slide, let's talk about some of our unique selling points. So 31 years and a month experience, and we are very, very uh, pro environmental policies and certified clean. All of our vessels are certified clean. We do have the newest expedition fleet, eight years or younger, including our four new vessels that are each just a year or less. One we're taking delivery of literally as we speak, and over 400 departures a year on all seven continents, sailing all seven seas. Said another way, it means more departure dates and more unique, fabulous itineraries for you guys as our CLIA travel advisors to sell to make more commission. And it is approachable luxury with exciting expeditions. We are focused on the future. We've got three more vessels coming, two more in 20, and our icebreaker in April of 21, which means we will be a fleet of 12 of the youngest in the yacht expedition space worldwide by April of 21. And it all equals incredible value for your guests. That is the bottom line. And let's go to the next slide and talk about how we consider ourselves an all-inclusive brand experience. And what that means is that it's all meals on board, all gratuities, all taxes, full open bar, 24-hour room service for all guests butler service in the suites, shore landings via the Zodiac excursion. So anytime your client is going off of our vessels on a Zodiac, those shore excursions or wet landings, if you will, are fully complimentary. And you guys asked, our CLIA travel advisors asked, and we answered, free Wi-Fi for all of our guests. So if you think about this in another context, you as our CLIA travel advisors are essentially earning commission on all of those inclusives. It's our gift that keeps on giving to each of you to say thank you. And by the way, we respect the fact that you send us your clients. So when they are so ecstatic on board and rebook on board, it's the gift that keeps on giving to each of you because it's like an annuity. You keep earning this commission year after sailing time. So you'll get all of the credit. But let's go to the next slide. And again, let me reiterate, 12 ships on seven continents, 12 ships by 2021, nine ships today, and it is all about adventure and luxury as an intimate scale, on an intimate scale. As we go to the next slide, here you'll just see a breakdown of what we are about. The upper left-hand corner is our Le Ponant, 64 guest yacht sail ship, three masted, Cuba and the Caribbean in the winter, the Met in the summer. That is the only vessel that is not ADA compliant. It was the start of our brand 31 years ago. Upper right, our Boreal class, 260 guests, four vessels that look just like her. Lower left 
is our new Explorer class vessel that we took delivery of the first one, the first two just last year and two more this year. Just 92 outside staterooms and suites, 100% balconies for just a lucky 184 guests maximum. And in the lower right, our world's first luxury exploration yacht, certified clean and icebreaker that will go to the North Pole starting in April of 21. So if you have any clients that really have that bucket list, latitude, longitude, North Pole, we've got an itinerary for them. And I encourage you to sell them now because we sell out very quickly because we are small and you will benefit your client. They will enjoy the lowest price, the further out they book, the further out you book them and secure their space. And it's just important to know that you'll save them money and you'll get them the space they need. But as we go to the next slide, the luxury expedition fleet, we are all about Zodiac launched at the stern, an ice hardened hull, world class naturalist, 3D ocean floor mapping, and just some of the activities we include off of the back of our marina on our vessels are kayaking, snorkeling, scuba, stand up paddle boards, and so much more. And now let's go to the next slide and talk about luxury amenities. You know, it is all about elegant, spacious state rooms. Our sister ships have 95% balconies. Our new Explorer class are 100% balconies. As I stated earlier, butler service in the suites. French-inspired cuisine by Ducasse Council. I don't know a better Michelin star chef in the world than Alain Ducasse. 24-hour room service, gym with state-of-the-art equipment, which is open 24-7 so they can work out when they want. Our spa is by Sotheby's as well as our hammam. And Sotheby's is a very, very famous French luxury spa and salon brand. We have our expert naturalists on board and many, many luxury partnerships. And let's go to the next slide and talk about some of those world-class partnerships. Vogue Clicquot, La Dure for those delicious macaroons. Hermes. Hermes does our toiletries and our robes and slippers in the staterooms. Ducasse Council does our food. Paul, another fabulous uh, co-branding partnership. And Sothies, as I said, who manages our spas and our salons on board. And as we go to the next slide, you'll just see some screen captures of just how beautiful and hip and chic our vessels are. It's really modern sort of stand the test of time, understated elegance. In the upper left-hand corner is one of our vessels reception area, upper right-hand corner, one of the pools on the Boreal class. Lower left, so all of our vessels have a theater. And lower right, our, our observation lounge, which is a, a multi-purpose room. When your ships are small, you have to multi-purpose. It's a bar. It's a live music piano bar. It's a card room. It's a game room. It's a library. And it has fantastic space outside for great relaxing and uh, taking fantastic photos and videos of where the captain is taking the vessel to. As we go to the next slide, there you will just see one of our many treatment rooms in the upper left, and then you'll see one of our uh, dining venues in the upper right. Lower right, one of our gyms, which this is filled with cardio equipment. We also have kinesis weight training equipment. And then in the lower left, another screen capture of one of our dining rooms. As we go to the next slide, there you will see a picture of our beautiful Ponant Explorer class. Again, we took delivery of two last summer, two this year, two more next year, and they have many, many, many unique features. As we go to the next slide, you will see a cutout of it. What you don't see there is in the back, past the infinity pool, is actually a three-tiered marina, which makes it very easy, and again, ADA compliant, to get on and off the vessel. So if Gail's going kayaking, he'll get off on one level. If I'm going in the Zodiacs, I'll get off on another level. And if Anna is going in the deep sea fishing boat, she will get off on another level. What you also don't see in the screen capture is that the vessel is lit from the bottom of the vessel from the exterior. Why is that important? Because what you also can't 
see in this screen capture is below the water level, we have the world's first underwater lounge called the Blue Eye. The Blue Eye, if you imagine, you go down in there for a cocktail and it's the whole width of the vessel. So starboard and port side are these huge eye-shaped windows cut out that not only can you see out, but it's designed around biomimetics and the seats actually vibrate and you can hear the undersea life while seeing it day or night because the exterior is lit up to five kilometers away, you can hear it. So it's really quite extraordinary. As we go to the next slide, I want to really make sure you are cognizant and know that all of our Explorer class ships are open for sale through 2020. And let's go to the next slide and talk a little bit about our quintessential collection 2020. And I'm very happy to report here, you've heard it here first, my 2020 Chairman's America Cruise will actually be the January 6th quintessential collection departure through the Panama Canal and through Central America. But let's talk about our QC programs. And as I said, they are related to the destination. They are built around a theme. They are perfect for groups or like-minded guests. Uh, some of the features of the QC collection include speakers and artists that are expert in their field and sail with guests for the entire program. And they also include special curated wow moments and interaction with speakers and guests artists. So we'll go to the next slide and talk about some of them. So the one in the upper left hand corner will actually be my chairman America's cruise. And then you see in the upper center about Epicurean delights. And then in the right, you see um, also the, um, the Japan itinerary. Now, I want to tell you about this Japan itinerary. It is absolutely fabulous, and it is, um, it always sells out first. And Dale, do you want to expound a little bit on the lower three? Absolutely. I'm yeah. sorry. I had myself on mute. Hello, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, so we have more detailed slides following this overview, but we are going to continue in October with the World Affairs Cruise uh, with renowned um, commentator Robin Wright uh, moderating a panel. Uh, we then will have Beethoven's birthday that we celebrate with special music compliments uh, with a chief flotist of the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra and Michael Parloff, who will be joining us September 8th aboard the Le de Montreville. And then we'll finish up the series of six themed voyages uh, celebrating American composers, the American Songbook, with, the, with Keith Lockhart, the conductor of the Boston Pop, sailing from Montreal to Boston, October 19th to the 27th. Thank you, Dale. And as we go to the next slide, there you will actually see uh, my quintessential collection sailing. Do you guys see that up? That will be my Chairman's America Cruise. And as we go to the next slide, Dale, do you want to pick it up and talk a little bit about sure. the slide? So, forward? Sure. Sure. We're Yes, of course. We are delving further into the Japanese culture, not just gardens, but also uh, culinary and also religion. And we have wonderful speakers. We have Osamu Shimuzu traveling with uh, Holly Shimuzu, who's the former director of the U.S. Botanical Gardens, and also Timon Screech, who's professor and author. Um, he uh, wrote the Oxford Dictionary on Japanese music. So what the highlights or the wow moments here would be an exclusive ceremony and a reception hosted by the abbot of the Kobukuji Temple in Nagasaki. We'll also have a traditional tea ceremony, we'll have lectures, and we'll also have um, a tour, optional shore excursions that will take us to wonderful landscapes so that we'll have further commentary by Holly and Osamu. And then there'll be other immersive uh, cultural experiences such as cooking puffer fish. And don't forget, we are offering pre-cruise options in Kyoto. And this is during the most perfect time, May 30th to June 7th, aboard La Soleil, sailing Osaka to Maizuru. And then Thank in you, August, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. 
No, go ahead. Take it away. The next slide is the World Affairs Geopolitical uh, Sailing. Please go take it away. Well, we have Admiral Jane Stavridis, the former Supreme Commander of NATO, uh, Bill Burns, who's the former ambassador to Moscow, uh, sailing with Robin Wright, who is all over television these days, uh, anything with geopolitics. Uh, we'll have lectures and discussions by these speakers, but we'll also have a private choral performance at St. Clement's Church, and then two full days in St. Petersburg. Wonderful time to visit the Baltics, but get this, two months before our own election here in the U.S., so it should make for a very interesting conversation aboard ship, don't you think? Next slide, please. Definitely. And as we go to the next slide, let's talk about celebrating both uh, Beethoven's 250th birthday. This is a music theme sailing in September of 2020, and the slide speaks for itself. And what I would say is that all of these individual uh, quintessential collections have collateral material. So you can do an email blast on all of them, one of them, any of them, and or concurrently a collateral piece that you can mail out to your clients. And as we go to the next slide, this is one of our most popular and sells out all the time including this year's. So we're repeating it again next year, which is the Epicurean Delights of Southern Italy and Sicily, a food and wine tour of October 2020. And let me tell you, that is my favorite season and time of year to actually travel to all of Europe, but particularly Italy, because the weather is scrumptious and all the crowds are gone and you can't ask for anything better. And then as we go to the next slide, we'll be celebrating American composers with the Boston Pop. So a little bit different of a musical theme in October of 2020. And this is for the clients that want to stay close to home. It's from Montreal to Boston. And again, it will be on Le Champlain, which is our 184 one guest newest Explorer class vessel. Beautiful itinerary, beautiful fall foliage. Let's go to the next slide. And as I stated, we have Dale, who is our Northeast Director of Sales, on the call with me today. And again, thank you, Dale, for joining me. But I want you to see your full support team. Teresa Gata is our VP of Sales, and today is her birthday. So if you want to send her a happy birthday email, please feel free. And then you see Ellen in the upper middle. Ellen handles the Northwest and slightly into Canada. And then on the right, Yanetti Perez, who handles the Southeast. And then the lower left is Scott Sloan, who handles the Southwest. And there you see our very own Dale, who handles the Northeast. And then you see Catherine, who runs our New York Res Center. So anything you need reservation-wise, et cetera, Catherine would be your gal there. And if you have any groups or mice or full ship charters, Rita would be your right contact there. But again, you can reach out to any one of us, and we will be sure to ensure that you get to the right person. So on that note, we'll go to the next slide. I will say thank you for joining us and being a trusted CLIA advisor in partnership with us. And we'll go to the next slide and open it up for Q&A. But before Dale and I entertain any Q&A any of you may have, Dale, were there any other promotions that you want to highlight for our CLIA travel advisors today? Thank you. Take it away. Well, sure. Dale. Yeah, no, in, in addition to the uh, bonus, uh, the $200 bonus commission, uh, do take advantage of that. Um, you know, we do offer up to 30% savings the further out from booking departure. And all you need, if you see something, grab it. We will hold on a courtesy basis for 48 hours. We just need first and last name. The other incentive would be... Uh, fellow traveler fairs where we are waiving entirely the single supplement on a select number of failings and that's on a rolling basis that list of failings changes and you could access that list by going to ponant.com click on special offers and then filter by solo travelers and up comes the most current listing and then lastly would be our share the moment incentive where if you book three staterooms on a single sailing there would be another five percent savings so you do the math Find something 30% off plus 5%, that's 35% savings. Uh, we also have the Seychelles on sale with an air credit of $700 per couple. We have Latin America through June 30th 
on select sailings where you could earn another 5% commission on $950 per person air credit on select sailings in addition to the reduced fare. So lots of uh, great in booking incentives in, in the marketplace for Ponant. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you so much, Dale. And again, travel advisors from CLIA, we thank you. We're going to turn it back over to Anna now to entertain any questions anybody may have. Anna, please take it away. And thank you all again for your time today with Dale and I and CLIA's team there in D.C. Anna? Sure. Thank you guys both so much. We do have some questions coming in. Um, my first one, actually, can you just repeat for everyone how they get all of the collateral that you mentioned? Dale, do you want to take that one, please? Sure. Well, the best is to contact your uh, your local director. Um, and if you could just go back, I think, two slides, uh, you could see the name and email address there. And if not, drop me a note, dwoods at ponant.com, and I can direct you or Edie can direct you to the correct salesperson. Uh, we have um, one page advanced uh, sales sheets available. We could do an E. It depends on the plan, the marketing plan, and what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, we also have really great group uh, um, terms, flexible group terms, so you really should speak to our directors about how flexible those terms are. It depends on the departure, but as few as um, eight staterooms or 16 would earn a tour conductor uh, stateroom with two spaces, so um, that's really good to know as well. But um, Anna, are you able to go back to the slide with the um, directors? It's two slides back um, with Teresa Gata on the upper left. And then you have all the the rest of the team. Um, so yeah, if in doubt, you could just email me, dwoods at ponant.com, and I can redirect you. I believe I have that slide up, but if not, I will try to play around with it. Um, but in the meantime, let's get to some of these questions. We have some of them coming in. Um, you just mentioned this, but if you could just reiterate, Sarah is asking what comprises a group. Right, so a uh, group would mean um, at least, we have three levels of groups. So what constitutes a group would be the number of passengers traveling together in order to earn a tour conductor space. So we have three levels. One would be a free uh, tour conductor stateroom with 10 paying guests, one with 16 paying guests, and then third would be one with 20 paying guests. It depends on the itinerary, the load factor, are there any other groups, how far out are we getting, what is your marketing plan, how do you uh, expect, how do you um, wish to go to market, is there a marketing co-op involved or not, are you doing your own marketing, it all involves a discussion with your local director, and so there are three levels, but um, there are, depending on how far out, the first deposit may not be due until about 300 days prior to sailing. So if you're getting out with an October departure of 2020, you may not have to give a deposit until October of this year, which gives you that window of marketing time. And we can monitor throughout the course of your promotional activity uh, to see what kind of traction you're getting with your marketing and then tweak that plan as we move forward towards the first date of deposit. And there's so much more to talk about, but that's pretty much general of groups. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Our next question is from Robert, who is wondering if you can explain your open bridge policy. Edie, do you want to take that? Sure. Well, yeah, I'm happy to take that. So we have an open bridge policy as long as the captain feels that it's it's okay. Meaning, if we're obviously in, you know, a treacherous Drake passage crossing where it might not be safe or things of that nature. But in general, they can just come up to the bridge and the captain will give them a tour and chat and they can chat with the bridge officers and actually see what the captain is seeing. So it's fantastic and our guests love it. Thank you for the yeah, question. Yes. Yeah. As Didi pointed out, the story of our company, we were founded by a captain for the French Merchant Marine. So it's in our DNA, that whole um, maritime tradition, the love of the sea. And really what you'll find on board Ponant's vessels is that willingness to share with our guests on board, the captains and the senior officers all the way down. Everyone's quite personable and willing to share in this experience on the sea. And that includes open bridge policy. Of course, there are limitations, as Edie states, but it's 
our clients uh, seek that out. They they want access not just to the regions we visit, not just to the speakers on board, but also to the officers at hand. So, uh, yeah, they become friends over t over the period of seven, eight, nine days. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you for the question. Our next question is from Sandra, who is wondering if there's an age group for children. Yes, depending on the sailing, we do accept children on board, either starting at three years old or five years old. But be aware that we don't have a children's program the way a mass market brand will. We have certain sailings, in fact, that our, uh, one of our quintessential collection sailings are family reunion sailings. So we embrace and welcome children. However, we have a kid's area on the ship, but we don't typically have, you know, an activity director for them. So they need to come equipped with their own accoutrements, summer reading, Game Boys, whatever the latest trend to keep themselves sort of family busy. But the great thing is they can go on tour with the family and it is just fantastic. And, you know, in the summer months or when kids are off from school, as an example, a seven night Mediterranean sailing in the summer, we actually attract a lot of children and families. So, Dale, is there anything you want to add to that? No, not at all. I think you 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 got it. Um, I know that Antarctica is driving a lot more families these days. Um, you know, families are driven towards other families per se. Not always an organized children program is needed, but um, we 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 can identify some of those departures already that have other families. I, I do know that Antarctica during the holidays, the Med. Uh, in the summer months and then the Caribbean during the holidays as well. And Alaska are very big with um, our family, our, our family clients. All right, perfect. And this next question is from Heather, who is wondering if you have plans to offer online training and certification. Well, Dale, we do. do you want to um, take the training? Sure, I would love to take the training. Um, we do offer webinars uh, such as this on a very regular basis. Edie, in fact, will be um, hosting one on music uh, on June 6th. I will be online with Edie. So look for invitations to future webinars uh, in addition to uh, one as this with Clea. Online training, you're welcome to join us or encourage the Edie asked you to earlier is to sign up for our travel agent portal by going to ponant.com in the upper right corner, click on travel agent, and you will have to set up an account in which you'll need your Ponant account code, and that can be provided to you by the director of your region. So if you're in the Northeast, that would be me. Another way of training would be on Travel Agent University. We do have, um, we are listed on there. Uh, you can go to uh, Ponant, academy.com that will bring you to the uh, 25 to 30 minute module complete that and you would be uh, entitled to a $200 e-card if you book within three months of completing that course and also you get I believe it's three CEU towards your cruise counselor certification so there's lots of ways to uh, find training uh, online as well so thank you for that question it just sounds like there's a lot of opportunities, so everyone should be taking advantage of those. And it looks like that was our last question. So Dale and Edie, thank you so much for your time and for all of the wonderful information. And thank you everyone for joining us. I do want to remind you. Thank everyone you. Thank you, everybody. Anna, thank you and the CLIA HQ team. Travel advisors, thank you for joining us today. Dale, thank you for your assistance. And remember, please feel free to reach out to any one of our Ponant team to help you and empower you to not only sell more Ponant experiences, but also to earn more money. Thank you all. Have a great Ponant day. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.